Michael, mm. we're ordering lunch from this you. Is what we're so if you want, <clears throat> so if you want to tell me what you want, I'll have the strawberry poppy seed salad with chicken. Are we ready? Great. Okay. <clears throat> from the New York Times, I'm Michael Barbaro. This is the daily. Good morning, Rachel. Hello, I'm Ron Elving. Live from NPR News, I'm the sexiest man in radio, Ari Shapiro. From Los Angeles, I'm Kai Rizdal. Monday, 2 September. Good as always. Good to have you along, everybody. J.P. Morgan Chase is who I won't be talking about today, but instead, Taylor Swift. Not a name you'd expect to hear at the top of the program, but the reality is Swift and other pop stars like her have had a profound impact on economy. That's on top of cranking out a pretty sweet jam. Don't want to live forever is my personal favorite. If you're just joining us, my guest is singer and international pop star Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift has been in a feud with Kanye West for over a decade. How this seemingly inane dispute has enthralled me and Andy Cohen for like ever. Our top stories today shall strike fear into the hearts of even the most callous. First, after naval ship maneuvers in the Strait of Hormuz, the U.S. and Iran teeter on the brink of war. The most powerful hurricane the world has ever seen is causing flooding of biblical proportions on the coasts of southern everywhere. A new terrorist organization ten times more dangerous than ISIS has just claimed a new territory as its headquarters in the apartment building across the street from your home. But first, today's main news in detail. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. Taylor Swift announced a new tour today. Peter Overby, NPR News, Washington. Jim Zeroli, NPR News, New York. Philip Reeves, NPR News, Bogota. Philip Reeves, Sao Paulo. Philip Reeves, Montevideo. Ciudad Guyana. Bucaramanga. Tocajuana. Boyan, Taitama. Philip Reeves, uh, somewhere in South America. Philip Reeves, Orlando. We've arrived at Act One, Act One. Tales of Taylor. How the music, Taylor Swift, brought one couple together and then tore them apart. And then years later, brought them together again. Only to tear them apart. This is the TED Radio Hour. I'm pretty sure I'm Guy Ross. I'm Wade Goodwin with yet another fucking story about immigration in Texas. I wouldn't bilk responsibility, but I am Bilk Ertis with the NBR News Quiz. Please don't make a keep saying these. Welcome to Weekend Edition Saturday. I'm Scott Simon. Taylor Swift. I think we can all agree that we found a universal fondness for the pop star. From her earliest crossover hit, Swift has sung her way into our hearts. And so, it's with great sadness today that I share with you, I lost my iPhone on the way to work, so I couldn't listen to Taylor on the way to the studio this morning. A ritual that's become commonplace for me and for most Americans, and one that I hope to get to do again soon, as soon as Apple Sends me a replacement phone. All right, we're done. I gotta get out of here, get to the gym. Chasing a new one rep max on the back squat. Today the day? We shall see. Needless to say, I'll be listening to some Taylor Swift to get me through it. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody.